everyone. As promised, I am back to show you this um, Christmas junk journal that I made. And I've made it out of a 9 by 12 um, I guess it's manila or craft envelopes. So these are, these are the envelopes um, and it just has this sticky part. So what I did was I painted the envelope just with some of this folk art paint and it is uh, antique gold. I don't know if you can see that, but it's antique gold. Um, so you can see that um, this is all painted so the yellow kind of craft color does not show through. And then everything else in the book, um, and you can see kind of on the front here, um, I've used this, um, I think it's, I don't know, sorry, let me just see here, Dewdrop. Um, Brilliance ga in Galaxy Gold. That's what I've used for all the edging on any of the papers and any of the tags uh, and just around uh, any of these papers. Um, most of these papers are from the new Authentic collection. Uh, I think it's called Christmas Time. And then I just have used some random papers that I have in my stash. Um, this one is beautiful and this is really almost the last of it that I have. This is um, an Anna Griffin paper and it's from a couple of years ago uh, and I just love it. Um, and I've used, I've cut out some of these um, Christmas balls and used it uh, just as embellishment throughout. So a lot of my inspiration for, uh, for this um, is from two people. Um, Sue Olson and Denise Sayez. Um, they've both been using a lot of gold lately uh, and so I thought I would uh, give it a try. I don't usually use a lot of um, uh, kind of metallics like I've used uh, but I thought I would try it out. You know Christmas is a great time to add bling I think so uh, that's what I've done. So you'll see that uh, throughout and I've got uh, lots of inspiration from both of them throughout and if you know their work you will you will recognize that. So the closure on the front is just seam binding and I've put um, this uh, crystal uh, button on the front and then I've just added a little bit of um, a little bit of bling here in the center of it and on the back it's just underneath this paper. Uh, to hold it in place because quite frankly I forgot uh, to put it underneath the red um, and I was uh, lucky enough to have that trim uh, edge piece that I could uh, I could add. So going inside uh, in the front I've got uh, a white glassine bag that I've just uh, glimmer misted and I can't remember if I just said I glimmer misted the front of this as well uh, just because it was a little bit too white uh, for my liking. All the papers in here have been coffee dyed so it needed a, a little bit of toning so it's rather nice for the Christmas season it's it's a little bit sparkly and you'll see I have left it fairly plain just because I love this paper and I didn't want to cover it up with anything. So back to the inside. I've got a, a glassing bag here and uh, just some of these pages from Michaels that in their dollar spot they have lots of um, different Christmas um, notepads. Uh, I've added a couple of tags here and this is an image that I fussy cut out from the Authentic collection and just added it to some of this paper. And these are just really uh, really for journaling. On this side uh, some of you may recognize this. Michaels has some great um, gift tags out right now and I've bought I don't know three or four different packages of them but I thought they were great for embellishments and in here I have uh, a tag that's got a little pocket and I've just got that little Mary sign in there and this is just a top tuck spot get a tag here just uh, a top tuck spot here and then this is an envelope uh, and it's a tuck spot as well. And I've just on the edge I've used my snowflake uh, edge punch um, and I've just done a little bit of stamping that's just a holly corner punch and then I've um, just used this um, flourish for for the other portions of it. This is uh, an envelope and I've just decorated that up and added a doily. Uh, this is coffee dyed tracing paper and I just had some of these embellishments that I had from Michaels from a couple of years ago and just added some glitter tape and a bag in the center with a tag and then another 
tag on this side. And this is um, side pocket and I've used one of the fuzzy cut one of those out from the paper from the front to use. And just a couple of tags here. And then this is a Michaels, you probably recognize that bag and I've just put a tag inside and put a little Jolly St. Nicholas tag on it. And again, a couple of tags. You may recognize this from the Graphic 45, Graphic 45 12 Days of Christmas. And I've just added that little tag that goes with that pocket, but it's a little bit too small for my liking, and so I've just backed it on that. Uh, and that's a top tuck spot. Another Michael's bag with some tags here. Lots of place for journaling and um, pictures and so on. This is the middle of the first signature, and I forgot to mention that. I've done um, actually two signatures in here. So this is the middle of the first signature, and I've glued this together to make a large uh, pocket. And on the back, I've got another tag with Santa on it. And then uh, just a doily tuck spot and an embellishment over top. And there's another one of the Michaels uh, gift tags from this year. And I've just got uh, this glassine bag with a tag. And then I've just, it's another fussy cut um, decoration from the front cover paper. And another bag. And inside I've got one of these... Um, Glimmered Michael's cards I thought was good just, you know, for journaling and adding photos and so on. And this is another, uh, gosh, talk talk spot. And uh, more, um, the other half of that uh, tracing paper. And this is a Michaels card from last year, and I've just glued it down on three sides so that it creates a pocket, and then it flips up uh, for journaling space. And this uh, just is a belly band. I just don't I don't have a tag in it right now. Um, this is the second second signature. And in this pocket, I've just got a tag, and then I've just added a bag. Um, to add some bits and pieces to more tracing paper, another belly band with a tag, and another one of the Michaels um, gift tags. Another one of the ornaments, and a couple of tags there. A glassine bag, and another tag, and I've just added a little bit of embellishment to that one. And that's a belly band as well. You can see some of this gold that I've got. That is the new Tim Holtz um, glitter paper. And it's actually fantastic because the glitter, it's its um, just the, the consistency of regular paper. So you can actually punch it or die cut it. Um, but it's sticky. So you peel off the back and it sticks on. So... I've been loving using that. So if you haven't seen it or haven't tried it out, you should because it's uh, really fabulous for this kind of thing. Um, center of the second signature, again, I've just done a big pocket there. This is just a top tuck spot with a tag. Uh, and in this, I've got a white glassine bag, more of those journaling cards, and then over top, I've placed a tag that has a pocket in that. Um, cut out and then just a little tag there. Again this is another envelope that I've just punched the edge with my snowflake punch. Tuck spot, another uh, envelope and a glassine bag and on here I've got another one of those um, small bags and another tag with another one of the Michaels um, gift cards. And then this is just a side, side tuck spot. And I've just clipped um, the envelope uh, that goes with this. I don't know, where 
it is now, that card uh, that I showed you that flipped up for journaling space. That's the envelope for that. More tissue paper. And that's the back. And then there's the um, envelope flap and I've just got a, a magnet underneath and you can see where I've, you can see where I painted it there. So that's, that's the color and that's the back. So that's that little um, Christmas uh, envelope uh, junk journal. Um, right now I'm working on a swap that I have to get done for the end of the year, my own December daily. Um, and if I have time, I'm going to be doing another one of these uh, just in the smaller size from a 7x10 envelope. And if I get that done before Christmas, I will be sure to come back and uh, show it to you. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this and I will see you next time.